Welcome everyone, I'm Erogai Sensei, bringing you the news and reviews of adult games. For my first video of 2020, I'm very excited to introduce you to a game that I have wanted to make a video about for a very long time now, but had to hold back because I felt there wasn't enough information to cover, until now that is. Judging by the title of this video, I'm of course talking about Wildlife, one of the more ambitious adult video game projects right next to Subwars. While the official channel for Wildlife goes under the name Steep, which was first created in 2011, Wildlife was actually first announced summer 2017 as just a tiny game project made by one person, which later became a small team's ambitious dream to create a vast open-world single-player adult RPG with a story and all. Late 2018 was when the Patreon pitch was made, and Wildlife soon became a fully supported small indie studio able to carry out its dream to become one of the first open world adult video games that would provide an actual story and gameplay mechanics beyond sex and pornographic content. You may look at Wildlife and mistake it for an MMORPG of some sort, because it certainly has similar style and mechanics, and even the way how quests carry out, but make no such mistake, because Wildlife is purely a single player experience. It could easily work as an MMORPG if the developers wanted to, and I would not be surprised if the game would later evolve into one, it certainly has been brought up by the developers and the fans, but as of now, Wildlife is a single player experience, one that is promised to make its way to Steam, though no release date has been given yet. So what is Wildlife exactly, and what can you do in this game? Think about any MMORPG you might know, Guild Wars 2, World of Warcraft, Lineage 2, Darkfall, and now remove the MMO part and throw a bunch of anthropomorphic animals in a desert setting and you got yourself wildlife. Perhaps it's not the best description for the game, but that's all I can really think of based on my own experience. Humans are of course part of the game too, it's not just animals. While the story can go anywhere for the finished product, we do have a small taste of the direction the developers are going towards, judged by the demo experience. If I'm not mistaken, it might have something to do with tribal traditions, conflict between humans and anthropomorphic animals, and basically just survival in wilderness in an era where sharp sticks, bows and fire are the greatest and latest inventions. The game features real-time combat, which currently in its early stage might look a bit clunky and perhaps even boring, but trust me, it has potential to become something great and worthwhile. If given proper time and care, the combat could easily evolve into something close to Terra's combat system, and I really wish it will, because one thing I always say about these type of games that offer any form of combat is, make the combat just as addicting as the hentai and not just a minor distraction. That's how you make really good overall gameplay that keeps bringing people back time after time for more reason than just the porn. The little combat it can offer right now tells me it can be fun and even addicting once it's polished. Whether things like magical spells and supernatural abilities are going to be part of it at some point, I can't really say, there's no mention of such to my knowledge, but as a single player experience, anything is of course possible. Implementing some form of magical powers for the player to go nuts with would not be far-fetched of an idea, since you can actually grow wings and fly freely in this game, which is pretty awesome. I haven't played Anthem to make a comparison, but flying in wildlife is super convenient, fun and something I can no longer imagine living without if they were to make it a restricted ability for the finished game, meaning something that you don't start with from the very beginning. It's just so much fun being able to take off wherever you want and whenever you want and just shoot yourself into the air and dive bone down with super fast speed. Flying is probably going to be one of the bigger highlights of the fun factor in the game, because the game is going to have a vast open world to explore, and with the graphics being as good as they are, the world is pretty much going to look breathtaking I bet. Currently it is just a small simple village with couple quests and NPCs to play with, but what the game is shaping out to be is promised to be grand and ambitious. Now that you know a little bit about Wildlife's gameplay mechanics, we are left with the pornographic content that is the main highlight of the game. After all, this is an adult game. And oh lordy lord is it something else. Before we jump into the good stuff, let's make one thing absolutely clear. Despite featuring anthropomorphic animals alongside with normal animals that appear in the wilderness, you don't actually have sex with the animals, it's not that type of game. The sex is purely kept between humans and the anthropomorphic animals that are pure fantasy and make no connection to the real world. The developers have absolutely no intention to break this formula, and that is something I completely misread from my original video, which I now stand corrected. While the sex between anthropomorphic animals may still be a turn off to some people, the developers have assured that no one is forced to experience any form of sex scenes if they wish to play the game just for its world and story. The NPCs may ask whether you want to have sex with them as a quest reward or things of this nature, but you can always refuse if you want. However, knowing my audience, I bet there's not a single person who would want to play the game without experiencing the pornographic content. That's not why you are here. But it is good to know that if seeing these anthropomorphic animals having sex makes you uncomfortable, that is not something the game forces you to watch. 
You can actually just keep it between humans if you so choose, and that alone is plentiful in choices, so you are not missing out or getting less by keeping it clean and simple. Having said that, I'm not going to alienate those who enjoy the game for its anthropomorphic animal sex, so let's cover everything there is to be said about the adult content. The genitals in this game look pretty realistic, and I really have to give props to whoever modeled and textured them. That goes for both the anthropomorphic animals and human females. They really help to sell the sex scenes as something unique you don't see in many games. There's a ridiculous amount of sex poses and sex partners to choose from. You can pretty much be whoever you want by possessing NPCs or changing your appearance during sex scenes. It's a pretty clever feature that takes away the need to have a character creator at this point in the development. However, knowing that this is a story-driven RPG where you get to upgrade and customize your own unique character in the future, this possession feature may or may not be something that stays in the final product, though I do wish it will stay as an option because it's so convenient. I mean, if I see a cool looking NPC somewhere that I would love to play as, it would just be a bother having to go create another new character or go to some place to change my appearance that might not even give me the required options to make the exact same looking character that I saw earlier. I know it might not make sense story-wise, but when was more power to the player ever a bad thing in a single player game? This free form of possessing anyone and talking to NPCs to instantly jump into sex without any effort is most likely just a demonstration for the demo, and in case it is, I say, make it an endgame content where you can just go nuts and do whatever you want. That would be cool. Currently you can mix and match different characters with each other with plenty of options to go around. For example, you can take a human female and two minotaurs and just have a pretty awesome hardcore threesome. There's also lesbian sex, which is one of the better if not the best sex scenes I have got to enjoy in recent memory. Even gay sex is something the developers want to offer as an option for certain players, thus reaching bigger audience. Though I did not test whether this is already possible or not in the demo. During any sex scene, there's plenty of options to manipulate the scene. You can change between vaginal and anal intercourse, change the size of certain body parts, control the pace of the sex, as well as change the appearance of the characters, and more. There's even a character poser feature where you can play with character stances, animations and facial expressions. Though not a big part currently, there is a single option to experience tentacle porn. I really hope the developers will bring more tentacle options, because when it comes to the adult games, you can never have too much of tentacles. Futurari sex is also an option, though again only for one option that is a single female character model, at least for now. When it comes to the actual sex poses and animations, I cannot but appreciate the amount of work the team has gone through making all of them. By far, and I'm not exaggerating here at all, the sex poses and animations in wildlife are by far the best I have ever seen in any other adult game thus far. It may take you a small while before you run out of new sex scenes to discover, and among all the options currently available, you are bound to find a healthy amount of favorite sex scenes between certain characters that will give you plenty of reason to support the project while getting your money's worth for monthly subscription that is the current Patreon support model. The game is free for you to try out if you don't have money to spend, but the free version is censored, with $10 version removing the censors, and trust me, you want the uncensored version, it's an experience unlike any other out there. The developers are adding new features and sex animations over time, and those who choose to support the game via Patreon will always be the first ones to get their hands on them. If you take a look at their Patreon page, it seems like the developers are really active with the community, constantly listening to player feedback, answering the messages, and trying to make the game the best experience possible for everyone. Even though I was having technical difficulties with the game, experiencing constant crashes that is, the developers were extremely quick to respond to my report on it, and tried their best to understand the issue and offer a solution to my problem. Very professional and kind people indeed. I for one am more than happy to support the project for as long as it takes to be finished, because this is a game I really want to see become reality. Not only does it have the potential to become one of the best adult games I will probably get to experience for a long time, but most likely its success story will paint the way for other studios to be inspired by it and try to make their own open world story driven adult game. That is of course if the development doesn't fall into limbo where we will never see the day of the game being finished. After all, it is a small team with the great task of building a big living and breathing open world, not something that we will see finished anytime soon, I bet. I will be keeping close eye on this game, and with any big worthwhile news that comes available for it, you can be sure to find the information from my website. The link for that can be found from my Patreon page. I highly recommend you to visit the website, because it's where I upload my uncensored versions of these videos, thus allowing you to actually see the adult scenes without having to deal with YouTube censorship. There's also other things to check out there, like translated Japanese exclusive adult visual novels, news, game trailers, and even learning Japanese via hentai. Of course, the website is still new and lacking content as well as features, but with time it will shape into a proper platform to visit frequently. 
With that said, it has been my pleasure to introduce Wildlife to you, and please do let me know if you played the game and what are your thoughts about it. With everything said and done, I will see you in the next video.